All right, so I've got a Triumph Speed Triple 1050, and it's a single-sided swing arm with an eccentric chain tensioner, and it uses this tool, which is fucking terrible. Uh, I mean, the hand oh, there's really no handle here. It's just it's too short. Ah, oh, it sucks. So what I'm going to do today is make my own. Now you can get these online for about thirty dollars to forty dollars, but yeah, this kind of gives me an excuse to use my tools, really. So first off, what you're going to need is some stock metal. Uh, I'm actually not sure the width of that. I mean, you pick it up at any parts store, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my metal and I'm going to cut it into two sections. That way, you know, I can lap them and I'm going to weld a bead on either side and uh, put that on there, trace her out, cut her out, grind her down, and then I'm going to weld an actual handle onto there. Yeah, man. All right, so this bad boy is about six inches in length. Prove to you I'm not lying, dude. Sorry, six and a half inches in length. Guess I was lying to you. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and err on the side of caution and I'm gonna cut a seven inch piece twice. <laughs> Look at that, those are great gloves to be cut and metal with. Nice. Yeah, boy, ever. Cool, I guess what I'm gonna do now is take my meme and trace it out. I mean, I'm not really going for an instructional thing here. I'm just kinda filming what I do because I like watching people work on stuff. So I guess I figure maybe somebody else will too. Whew. That's spicy. Time to cut her out. By the way, when I put that Sharpie out there and traced it on this, uh, piece is still a little warm. The smell of hot melting sharpies is pretty f disgusting actually. <laughs>
there you have it, folks. Two eccentric chain tensioners. I made the black one earlier. Shouts out to my boy Ass Eater for the magnet.